request from Liam Ray, 95, who wants to see how to play the blue of one cushion with check side to get position on the pink when you were clearing, they want to clear the last three colours to win the frame. How do you play this shot? Well, check side is right hand side on this shot, we're playing through this pocket. And the reason we want to put side on is because when the cue ball hits this cushion, we want to bring the cue ball up in a straight line. We don't want it drifting near the cushion and leave yourself a pressure pink to win the frame. That's why I want to play for a touch of check. Bring the cue ball back in that straight line. Perfect on the pink. No stress in front of the pink and black to win the frame. Cue's a request today comes from Sheriff's 7 and it's about when you're just off straight in the blue, even it could work if you're straight as well, but just off the straight in the blue. So the way of getting down in the reds, you probably only play this in an exhibition really in a match, it's too risky, but we're going to screw the cue ball back, try and catch the jaw of the middle pocket here. And if we make contact with this jaw here, the cue ball will go down that way and get position on the reds. It's obviously a very risky shot because a lot of times you're going off. So you've got to try and pinch about that pocket and put the blue in. Try and put the blue in the left hand side of the pocket as I look at it. Catch the jaw. Cue ball goes down the table. What a shot. Cue tip request today from My Guy Garms, and it's a shot that I've become uh, very famous for. Uh, it's the black ball that I missed against Mark Williams in the 1998 Masters final. Um, now, I've won the Masters six times, but this is a shot. This is the Masters final that I'm more famous for. Uh, so that's very annoying. So thanks very much for requesting this shot. Um, I'm sure Mark would be delighted to see this. Uh, it's, a, it's a horrible shot really to play under pressure. You've got to play it slow, you can't play it with pace. You've got to forget everything that's going on around you and just concentrate on your technique. Keep still, push the cue in a straight line. If only I'd have done that, imagine the grief that I would do without it from Mark Williams. Here's a Q-tip, shot recreated from the 1995 World Championship semi-final against Jimmy White. It's the second session, um, I've made 140, I'm going to make my first maximum at the Crucible. I've over hit the pink, the white ball has had to travel up and down the table. It, as it was travelling down, I'm saying please stop, please stop. Anyway, it's ended up here. Certainly not the black you would want for £167,000 prize for a maximum. But the good thing about this shot is it's not an in-off in the middle, the natural angle. So basically just concentrate on pot the black and not worry about the white ball. So you're just concentrating. You're focused because you're on a maximum. You've potted it, the thrill of making a 147 at the Crucible, and then going on, I won the World Championship against Nigel Bond in the final. Today's Q-tip request is from Mr. Ben O'Connor, and it's about playing a shot when you're hampered. Um, so we've got a situation here. We want to put this red into the corner pocket we're hampered by the pink. So obviously we're gonna raise the bridge. So make sure these, these fingertips, the forefinger, are really gripping the cloth so that your bridge is strong. Your thumb comes to the, to the hand and obviously makes a nice groove for the cue to go through. Cue in the middle of the chin, and this is when it's really important to keep still. You don't want it to be too long with your waggles. You don't want to hit the pink. Just make sure in the middle of the cue ball, stay still. Deliver a cue. That's how to play when you're hampered. 